hi friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is masandra mustafa and for this video i'll be showing you guys how you can make a simple crochet skirt with a waistband so let's get right into the video <music> So to get started, we are going to be making the waistband and to get started with the waistband, you're going to make a slip knot and chain a total of 15 chains, which is 14 half double crochet and a chain one. The chain one does not count as a stitch. It's just a starting chain. Coming up after the chain, you're going to insert your hook in the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet and then an half double crochet in the next and all the way to the end. So after the one, you should have a total of 14 half double crochet. So coming up at the end of the first row, I'm just making sure I add half double crochet in every chain. So I have a total of 15 half double crochet like I mentioned earlier. So to get started with row 2, we are just going to chain 1 and turn our work. And this time around, we are going to add half double crochet in the back loop only because that is what is going to give our waistband a stretch that we need so now just go ahead and add half double crochet in the back loop only all the way to the end and you should have a total of 14 half double crochet at the end of row two So coming up to row 3, we are just going to do the same thing that we did for row 2. Go into chain 1, turn our work, and then add half double crochet in every half double crochet from the previous row. And also make sure you're doing the half double crochet at the back loop only because like I said, that is what is going to give the stretch that we need at the waistband. So you're going to continue to do this for a total of for it to be as long as your waist measurement so i'll see you guys when i have my waistband completed So coming up with my completed waistband, I'm just going to go ahead and fold my waistband into two because we have to attach both sides together. And I'm also going to go ahead and measure how wide my waistband is at this point so I know I have the perfect measurement. And as you can see, mine is 14 inches which multiplied by 2 is 28 and my waist measurement originally is 29 inches so I don't need to do any more rows because this is unstretched when it's stretched is way wider than 29 inches which is what I, we are going for so when it's stretched you can see it's way wider so you can go ahead and measure if your waistband is at this point your waist measurement and now to attach both ends together i am just going to use a single crochet to attach both together so Make sure you align both sides together well so you don't have an uneven stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and align both of them in the right space. And now I'm just going to single crochet both panels, both ends together. You can use half double crochet. You can even use slip stitch. 
you can do whatever works for you but single crochet works perfectly for me so that is what i'm going to go ahead and do and make sure i actually aligning them together like i said so you don't have an uneven waistband after sewing both sides together Afterwards, you're going to turn your work because your seam needs to be inside. So to get started with the body of the skirt, we are going to chain one. And we are going to single crochet right into the first, very first space. And then single crochet into the very next. So this is what we are doing. So the skirt as a foundation. So we can have a foundation for the double crochet rows that we are going to do for the skirt. So this is just me single crochet in my way all around. The waistband so it can give us a solid foundation for when we actually start our actual rows of double crochet <music> Making our way right at the center where we started with the chain one, I'm just going to single crochet my way right to the end and then I'm going to slip stitch right into the chain one that we did at the beginning of the row. The tension is a bit tight because of the chain one but just make sure you slip stitch right into that chain one and that's complete your foundation row. This is what the waistband is looking at at the moment and as you can see the single crochet just makes a great foundation and a solid foundation for the rest of the rows of double crochet that we are about to get into. So to get started with our first row of double crochet we are just going to go ahead and add double crochet in the first single crochet from the previous row. So as you can see I did not go ahead and chain anything and you guys will know after a few rows why I did not because it's just that's just one of the patterns that I usually use. So afterwards you're just going to go ahead and add one double crochet in every stitch across until you get to the beginning of the row which is at the back of the skirt and I'll see you guys at the end. <music> the starting point i'm just adding one double crochet in every space from the previous row so making sure i don't do any increase or decreases because then because it's not needed so i'm just working my way all the way to the middle the back of the skirt where we started our row one of double crochet so for us to end the first row we are just going to go ahead and add double crochet right on top of the previous row so as you can see i'm just going to add another double crochet right where we did the slip stitch from this previous row and i'm just going to go ahead and add one double crochet on top of the starting row that we did from previous row one so i'm just adding one double crochet all through and all the way around Oh, 
does look a bit uneven for now but no worries after a few more rows then you wouldn't even see that at the beginning of the row so just go ahead and add one double crochet like we did from the previous row all the way around and then i'll see you guys right at the beginning which is at the back of the skirt <laughs> right at the beginning of our row i'm just making sure i'm adding one double crochet in every space like i said no increases and no decreases and like we did from the previous row we are just going to add a double crochet all out on top of the previous row and this is just me going ahead and showing you guys how it looks at this point so i'm just going to add double crochet right on top of that previous row and like i said it does but just trust me and trust the process so i'm just going to go ahead and start with row three which is a simple double crochet all around and like i said no increases and no decrease so i'm going to go ahead and do this for a total of three more rows which is six rows and then i'll see you guys at the end when i have my six rows completed <laughs> So now I have my six rows completed and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how we are going to start because now we have to start our increase rows for the hips area and I'm going to show you guys how we are going to go about the increase pattern. So to get started with our increase row, you're going to go ahead and lay your project flat and make sure the seam, like I said, is inside because we are working on the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and use two stitch markers and mark both sides because this is going to help us to identify where we need to do our increases for the hips area. So the pattern for the increase rows are two rows of increase and one row of no increase and two rows of increase and another row of no increase. So it's just a repetition of the same pattern until you have your hips measurement or until your project is wide enough to go through your hips so working our way right from the center which is at the beginning of our row we are just going to do a double crochet all the way to the stitch marker for stitch marker and then i'll show you guys how you can go about the increase <music> closer to my stitch marker i'm just going to insert two double crochet in the top stitch below the stitch marker so right on top of this marked area we are going to add two double crochet and into the next we are just going to add one single crochet, double crochet all the way around until we get to the next stitch marker where we do another increase row. so it's basically just an extra double crochet in that right spot and then another extra double crochet in the opposite spots it's just the same thing and we are going to do that for a total of two rows and then another one row of just simple double crochet with no increases and no decreases so coming closer to the opposite side of the stitch marker where we added another stitch marker we are just going to do the same thing we did from the opposite side which is two double crochet right on top of the stitch marker and then just a simple double crochet all around until we get to the next stitch marker
so at this point i'm just going to go ahead and do the increase pattern for as much as i need to so i did a total of three sets of increase pattern which gives me my total hips measurement so if you need to do more go ahead and do more if you do need to do less then i will say do less probably you need just you need to do just one set sometimes two but i did three and if you need to do more go ahead and do more and i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then i'll see you guys when i have my three sets of increases completed So coming up after doing my set of increases, you can see how wide my skirt has gotten at this point. And I'm also going to go ahead and show you guys the pattern and how many increases I did. So like I said, I did two rows of increase, a row of no increase, another two rows of increase, and another one row of no increase, and then two more rows of increase, and then the last row of no increase, which actually completes three sets of increase rows or increase pattern so i'm just going to go ahead and count how many rows i have at this point which is really not necessary because you can just use your measurement tape and check how long your skirt is at this point and how many lengths you need to do how many more inches you need to do for you to get your desired length so i want my skirt to be 18 inches long so now i'm just going to go ahead and double crochet with no increase and no decreases until my skirt is 15 inches long the reason why i'm going to stop at 15 inches long with no increase and no decreases is because after 15 inches we will be doing decreases which is going to shape the skirt into the perfect hourglass and pencil skirt i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back when i have my skirt as 15 inches long So as you can see, my skirt is almost completed. We are almost there. So I'm just going to go ahead and check how long my skirt is at this point before we can start a decrease row. So mine is 15 inches. And make sure you use this 15 inches too because that is where exactly we need to start a decrease. So we are just going to go with the same pattern that we did for the increases, which is two rows of increases and one row of no increase in this case two row of decreases and one row of no decreases and we are going to do that for a total of two set for decreases which is the perfect 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 set so to get started with our decrease row what we are going to do is going to take off the stitch markers that we used for the increase row because like i said it's going to help you to identify where you actually need to do the decreases so we are going to take those that we attached at the top and then go ahead and attach it, attach it at the sides so we can know where we are going to do our decreases so now we are going to work our way all the way to the first stitch marker and then i'll show you guys how you decrease <music>
to get started with our first decrease for this row we are just going to do like we did from the previous so instead of adding two double crochet on top of the stitch marker we are going to add two double crochets together and make them one double crochet basically just a decrease right there and then for the rest of the row until the rest until the opposite side where we did add another stitch marker it's just a double crochet along the way until we get to the opposite end where we do another decrease <music> So coming closer to the opposite stitch marker we are just going to do the same thing another decrease like we did from the opposite side and just double crochet two stitch right on top of the stitch marker together as you can see and that's just complete to row one of decrease so like i mentioned earlier it's the same pattern two rows of decrease and one row of no decrease and you can do a total of two sets and i'll see you guys when i have my decrease row completed <music> So this is what my skirt is looking like after my two sets of decreases so i'm going to go ahead and take off my stitch marker because i will not be needing it anymore and i'm also going to go ahead and measure how long my skirt is at this point so i would know how many more rows or how many more inches that i will need to add to get my desired length and like i said my desired length is 18 inches but you can go ahead and do this as long as you would like or as short as you like it's your preference do whatever you want so for the rest of the rows i'm just going to do a double crochet all around until my desired length so my skirt is already 17 inches and at this point you should be 17 inches after the decrease rows or set of decreases so you can go ahead and add many more as many more rows as you want to get your desired length and i'll show you guys how to seal everything off so to finish off with the skirt i'm going to make sure my last double crochet is aligned to the seam at the back because that has always been a starting point so i'm just going to do a half double crochet in the next space after that double crochet stitch and this is just going to give us a perfect finishing so one half double crochet and then another half double crochet in the next stitch and into the next stitch we are going to go with a single crochet this time around and into the very next we are going to go in with a slip stitch and then into the very next with another slip stitch so this just aligns everything together and just helps with evening the last row so now you can go ahead and chain one and just cut off your yarn and seal everything off if you have any other loose ends go ahead and sew those in as well and then your skirt is completed so friends this is the end of this tutorial i hope this was easy enough for you to follow if you have any questions at all regarding this tutorial feel free to drop them in the comment section and i would gladly answer those and also let me know if you guys want to see more versions of crochet skirts because as we all know there are different ways you can go about this and this is just one of the easiest way and since i've been having requests and a request about a simple crochet skirt i just wanted to give you guys a tutorial on the way i make my own the simplest way i make my crochet skirt so let me know if you guys like videos like this don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so i would know you guys appreciate videos like this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel friend please do so you can see more of my upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao ciao